many call it as soil amendments but i call it a soul amendment hold the soil in your hands and let me know how you feel this is such a beautiful experience when you hold the soil in your hands and just feels like all my neurons are something magical happens whenever i hold the soil in my hands it's a beautiful experience and i wish you all can also experience the same welcome to our some life hope you're all doing good today we are going to talk about soil amendments this is one of the most important video for me and i hope i get all the information required for you guys in this video just like how women prepare her body to hold a baby the soil also requires the nutrition to hold this beautiful plants so today we are going to learn about that these are the items what i use every time i do a soil amendment this is fish raw fish i'm going to talk in detail about each one of these items i'm showing and i use neem powder or neem cake i use epsom salt i'm going to talk much more in detail about epsom salt and i use biochar perlite peat moss and the good old common yar so coming to the reason why or not the reason exactly um using fish the fish has a lot of a uh, fish is uh, a good source of nitrogen and it has a lot of trace minerals so if you happen to have any expired fish sitting in the freezer just take it out and uh, put it into your uh, garden soil dig it a little bit deeper and put it into the soil and it will decompose and your plants will get a very good source of nitrogen especially it's good for sha uh, green leafy vegetables they love nitrogen and this will be a perfect way of providing nitrogen i had uh, some fish sitting in the freezer which was kind of expired so i was like you know this is perfect for my garden one or the other way we can use it the next one is cumminure i definitely will add cumminure uh, to my garden and this again has a good source of nitrogen also and uh, it's pretty good for uh, plants and the ratios would be like you know since ours is pretty big uh, raised beds i kind of use i you know you i mean it, uh, if you are using any potting soil or something i mean if you're growing in pots then maybe you can go with a 20% of um, cow manure and uh, compost i do it at home you guys should check out the homemade uh, compost with no tools that is uh, pretty popular and it is extremely easy to make homemade compost literally out of your trash you don't need to buy anything so come in your if you don't if you guys don't uh, have uh, flexibility to make compost at home then you might have to add in compost also next one is biochar biochar is one of a hidden treasures uh, which we are missing in many of the um in in uh, in our uh, new methods of soil amendments biochar is nothing ka uh, a uh, modern it's pretty old way of um, growing crops biochar holds good bacteria it holds uh, good bacteria and uh, it's especially good for the microbes and it holds the soil moisture also 
and this has been a method which is being used from ancient days bone meal you guys have seen or if you didn't see it please check out the video on how to make bone meal at home for literally zero cost um, bone meal is very important for the plants for a healthy root development and for healthy flowers and the fruiting stage so please do check out the video i will link up in the icard uh, check out and you can make bone meal at home without spending any money for buying bone meal from the stores it's pretty um, easy and uh, you literally can make bone meal with zero dollars <laughs> this is very important a topic to talk about epsom salt is being hyped way too much which i which i feel uh, due to all the marketing strategies and uh, epsom salt is required only when you get a soil test and they say like they your soil does not have enough of magnesium or sulfates um, only then use epsom salt if not it is not actually required this is one of the uh, minerals which is uh, which might be required but most of the soils most of the areas will have um, magnesium and uh, sulfur already in the soil sulfate in already in the soil and for that reason i would highly recommend you guys to do a soil test um, and if it is required then only use epsom salt for extra of magnesium and sulfate Perlite is used mainly for the um, aeration of the soil and also to hold the moisture uh, in the soil so that we don't need to constantly water the plants and uh, you know, not knowing where that water has gone through. Um, so it basically helps in holding the water and uh, it also helps in a stronger uh, root system development basically when the soil is little loose the roots can get through it properly and grow well and if roots are good the plant will be more healthy there is a i mean there is perlite and a few use vermiculite both are almost similar uh, with a little bit of differences in the sense of um, perlite is slightly alkaline whereas vermiculite is uh, more of neutral so you know based on your soil you can switch from perlite to vermiculite which basically both are almost same in holding up the soil moisture next one is peat moss peat moss these days we are hearing a lot of um, a lot of uh, <laughs> Can I dare to use the word noise? Um, saying um, how we are depleting like you know acres and acres of peat moss which is growing in a specific area um, and all. So few actually switch to uh, coconut core uh, in, in the area where we live. Um, coconut core is very expensive and it is a little bit out of reach. So I use peat moss um, um for you know again like you know to hold the soil moisture and all the stuff um and peat moss is more of acidic in nature so just like you know, again get your uh, soil tested and then use uh, you know peat moss based on the soil test results next one is the neem powder um definitely put some neem powder or neem oil or neem cake into your soil amendments because the earlier shop plants which were in your soil might have some bugs or any sort of like you know um bad uh, egg sitting in the soil and this neem cake will help a lot with taking care of most of the um most of these you know unwanted bugs and uh, bugs issue basically mm. 
next one is the rock dust i swear by rock dust i've been using it for years together and i love how my uh, plants um, thrive with this one the only issue not an issue the only heads up i would give while putting the rock dust right you know wear a mask because it's a very fine dust and you don't want to get into your lungs by any chance so i would uh, definitely recommend you wear some glasses or like you know, cover up your eyes and uh, put a mask also and uh, this is pretty fantastic for your uh, soil like you know i add almost like um uh, seven to eight cups for my complete raised bed and mix it up in the soil and it's almost awesome how the plants get all the trace minerals and nutrition i hope i got all the information uh, is required for you guys to start with the gardening soil amendments are very important you know that will decide how your quality of your uh, crop is gonna be i again like you know as i always say i don't believe in the quantity of the food i grow i believe and i want to have the most um, nutrient dense food in whatever extent i can grow and it, it that if you set up the base right for these plants to grow you will see a difference in how your plants will thrive and they will actually have resistance towards all these bugs and uh, whatnot comes in their way and they will survive and they will thrive and give you nutritious food too if you like this video please hit that subscribe button and also the like button and if you have any questions uh, please let me know in the comments i will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible and you all guys do awesome gardening happy and healthy living and if you feel this can help one of your family or friends please do share this video to them and let's all do this amazing gardening Bye now, take care.